You don't have to act that way. It's as simple as believing something or not believing it. Jesus said, he that believeth, he that believeth not. When we preach the gospel, he that believeth shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. It's not complicated. Praise God forevermore. Amen. Amen. You know what, Brother Herb? I'm done. Mm -mm. It's time for you to come, brother. But I, now the Lord is good tonight. All you got to do is believe this gospel. And there's freedom for you. Whether you be bound by this habit, that habit, or something else. There's freedom for you. All you got to do is believe on Jesus. Praise God. Now you might need a little bit more help than that. Sometimes some of you need to come out and let us lay hands on you. We will. And we'll pray for you. Praise the Lord. All right, brother. Amen. Hurt. <clears throat> well, I'm certainly glad to be here, and we've had some mighty good church already, haven't we? I was sitting there, and I was thinking about what I was figuring on speaking on. I'm kind of, it seemed like it'd be better just to kind of go along with that flow of it, but I may not. <clears throat> but I want to say something out of my heart before we start. Kenneth Gross and Brenda Gross, I appreciate you guys more than you'll ever know. I do, and I mean that out of my heart. And, uh, you know, people think sometimes, well, you might be saying that because you've got an opportunity to teach the Word. That might be why I'm saying it, because that's what I love to do. And... I count it a high honor, more than I can explain, to be able to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. Not for money. I would be willing to pay to be able to do it. I'm telling you the truth. And that's kind of the way I feel. I feel like I'm indebted to be able to stand and be able to do it. Because God's good to us. And I want to do one more thing. I want to thank all you that watches and listens and I appreciate you of uh, receiving the word. I, I appreciate you for doing that. Because I know, I know it in my spirit and I've talked to people too. A lot of people is receiving the word of God. People that don't even go to church. Some that goes that's not too churchy. And I don't know about the people who go to church. I hope they are too. But the gospel is good. But what Kenneth was talking about, and that's not the way I'm going, but what Kenneth was talking about is uh, about being filled with the Holy Ghost. That I've been in the book of Romans here going through it, and that's what I'm going to do some tonight too. But the Paul ends up in, the, in Romans after that, I won't get that far in it tonight, but after all this trouble about the divisions of receiving the law or rejecting the law or the law has been fulfilled in the going with the grace of Jesus Christ, quit trying to work it out. Quit trying to be good to get it because Jesus is good. And then in the 26th verse of the 8th chapter, Paul said a few words for that about how that we could get out of this, how that we could... Uh, we couldn't understand, and I'll and I remember this, what I'm going to teach tonight. We can't understand the battle that goes on inside of us because like First Thessalonians 5.22, I believe it is, or 5.23, it talks about the whole man, sanctifying the whole, the whole man. And every man and woman is three parts, just like God is three parts. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and they're all God. Well, I'm an old herb, but I have a spirit. I am a spirit, and I have a soul, and I live in this body that you see. And my spirit is what got born again. It wasn't my body. But my body wants to act up because my flesh 
It wants to lean toward things that's no good, no count. And yours does too. <clears throat> now I know a lot of places in churches, <clears throat> religion has taught a lot of things. Jesus said that the word, my word has become, or my, the Father's word has become of none effect because of the tradition of men. <clears throat> 